you know, YouTube, there are women out there who are fighting for equal rights. They they want equal pay. They want the same opportunities men have. And then you have Doritos out here making lady-friendly chips. Equality's been achieved. <laughs> This is some shit I couldn't even possibly make up. Like, if I was trying to think of a random topic, a random idea, I could not possibly consider the idea of lady-friendly chips, whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. In case any of you ladies out there think nobody's fighting for you, Doritos and PepsiCo have your fucking back. Don't worry, they got the chips covered. So what this all stems from is the PepsiCo CEO, Indra Nooyi, I think that's how you say her last name, was doing a podcast where she talked about what women do and don't like about chips, apparently. She's speaking for all women in the world here, this one woman. In an interview with Freakonomics, PepsiCo's CEO, Indra Nooyi, commented on the ways that consumer insights about gender differences are driving product development in the world of Doritos. Women, Nooyi suggested, don't like to crunch too loudly in public, and they don't lick their fingers generously, and they don't like to pour the little broken pieces and the flavor into their mouth, the hardships of the women. Now, obviously, I don't think this pertains to women as a whole. I would even say 51% of women give a shit about this. I don't think they give a fuck about lady-friendly chips. They probably just, if they eat chips, they just eat chips. I've never heard somebody complain about chips breaking or having to eat the little, like, crumbs in the bottom of the bag or cleaning their fingers. Like, that's my favorite part, dude. I like eating the chips, like, eating some Cheetos. I clean my goddamn fingers because I did, I earned that. The company's answer, the brand has been working on developing chips that are low crunch with the same taste profile, but with less of the flavor sticking to fingers. And how can you put it in a purse, Nui mused. Apparently the current chip bags aren't cutting it for the handbag wielders of the world. Because, she said, women love to carry a snack in their purse. Now this one I would say pertains to women more simply because a lot of women do carry a purse and obviously men don't carry any kind of like bag or anything to carry shit in. So this one kind of pertains to women more than it does anybody else. But where's the equality? Where's the man-friendly bag of chips that I can keep in my wallet? There's all kinds of room in there. That bitch is empty anyway. Hashtag boycott Doritos because I need some equality. We men need bags of chips or something, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm bitching about anymore. And don't they already sell those, like, really tiny snack-sized bags of Doritos that would easily fit in a purse unless you're just carrying a really tiny purse, which at that point you can't carry a snack in anyway? How small are they trying to make these fucking bags? At a certain point, it's just going to be, like, one goddamn chip in there. Plus, with some of you females out there, I've seen y'all carrying some ridiculous-sized purses, and at that point, you don't even need a snack because you can carry an entire meal in that damn thing. It's not a male and female as much as, are there snacks for women that can be designed and packaged differently? New Ye further explained. Except that within that exact same sentence, you contradict yourself. You say it's not a male and female type of thing, but you're looking for a specific way to design these chips for women. How could that not be more of a male and a female thing? What Do you, do you even know? How are you the CEO? And honestly, everything about these new lady-friendly chips would pertain to everybody, because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who would like some chips that didn't crunch so loud, or they didn't break apart as easily in the bags, or they didn't stick to your fucking fingers, or maybe they come in smaller, like, sizes. Maybe you're somebody who doesn't eat a lot of food, so you just need a really small snack. Like, all these things can pertain to everybody, not just women. Now, since all this kind of blew up on the internet the past, like, week or so, or however long it's been, uh, they've since come out and tried to say that this isn't happening. They're not looking. They already have Doritos for women. They're called Doritos. Haha, <laughs> that's a fucking funny tweet. The thing is, as much as they might try to deny it on social media, this was the CEO of PepsiCo. PepsiCo owns a lot of shit, but PepsiCo owns Doritos. The fucking CEO says that they are researching and looking into this gender-specific thing for their products. If she says it, I'm going to take her word over some random guy running the damn Twitter account. I was just unaware how bad women had it, man. See, I thought they were out here fighting for, you know, l unimportant things like the wage gap and more job opportunities, more jobs that men have instead of women. But the, the chips, man, that's where the real fucking struggle is. There's really not much more that can be said about this shit, man. It's an absolutely ridiculous idea. If they're going to do this, just push it as just a new brand of Doritos, a new type of Doritos, or make it the norm for Doritos. Why, why can't it just be, why does it got to be a new product? Why not just make your Doritos less breakable? It's supposed to have the full, like, flavor, the same taste as a regular Dorito, so why not make that the normal for your chips? Seems like a pretty good idea to me. Sounds like I should be the damn CEO instead of you. Anyways, my dudes, that's the video. Let me know your thoughts below. Have we finally achieved equality? Is this what women have been fighting for since, like, what was it, like the 40s or 50s or something? I don't even fucking remember. Is this what, is this the epitome? Have we finally reached equality? If you guys enjoyed the video, or if Doritos has achieved equality, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter at the Dashing David. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys. Or at least less like